And the same goes for PLCs, for VFDs, for servo drives, for your remote I.O., for your safety I.O. and other devices on your network. Next, we have the network layer, right? So this is layer three. This is becoming also important, as you will see in some of the lectures that will follow, it becomes a question of a switch problem or configuration or a router configuration or even a layer three switch. So it's easy to get confused, but as we go through some of these lectures, we will unravel that. Layer three is your IP addresses. When you configure your devices, it is important to understand that the MAC address is static assigned by the manufacturer for that specific device. An IP address is assigned by the user or usually I guess if we can take two steps forward, it can be assigned by the device that you're connected to. So going back to the home network that we've discussed, usually the router is going to assign an IP address, which is a unique identifier to each device on the network. And that's how they're going to know what the address of each one. The MAC addresses are static out of the box while the IP addresses can change. So network layer three, extremely important for the OT side. We will talk about routing tables, how to assign, IP addresses to different devices. In a very general sense, it is possible to assign a different IP address to nearly all devices that have ethernet connectivity. Transport is, I would say, a less important layer to understand in OT, but still comes into play when you're talking about data exchanges. In most instances, this is handled by your application or by the settings of your device. You're not going to have to choose as often which protocols that you're going to be using, but in this case, it's going to be TCP and UDP. And we're not going to spend a whole lot of time discussing the protocols, but some of them are going to be deterministic and the other ones are going to be without any checks, right?